Okay, so this one is water and this one is spray. So put one in the spray and put one on the water. Let's see if they do anything. Okay. Oh, that was getting bubbles all over it. Yes, that one's making the bubbles rise up. Is this one doing anything? No. No? Yes, but that one is really bubbling up. I see the bubbles. How about with cool. the yellow? You want to try yellow in each? Okay. Try yellow in the water, too. Uh, hmm? Is it doing anything in the water? Um, no. But are they doing something in the spray? Yes. What are they doing? Making bubbles coming up. That's cool. Okay, now we're going to try the nerds. Okay, so sprinkle a little bit of the nerds in this one and a little bit of nerds in that one. So the water first. Sprinkle a little bit from the box. Right first? Okay. okay. Get some in there? Okay. There's water. Okay. Let's see what it's doing. What is the one with the nerds doing? It's still bubbling? Yes. I mean, the one with the spray? Yeah, it's still bubbling. And this one is changing the color of the water. What happened to the red one? And um, this one in the water one. Where'd the red go? Um, um, that's so funny. Yeah, I think it dissolved in the water. It changed the water colors. Yes. Yeah. And this one's, uh, they changed. They lost their color too, but they're still making lots of bubbles. Yes. That's cool. The nerds aren't doing much though. I'm going to put some more of the Skittles in this one. Um, yes, I need to do four. Make, make some more bubbles. Wow, that's really cool. Yes. Okay, so we have this food coloring, and we already have a green, but let's pretend we don't have a green. How would you make green with these other colors? Um, it is uh, blue and red. Oh. Yellow. Okay, do you want to try it out? So put a couple drops in the icing and see if you can make it green. Yes. Oh, I see green. It already is turning green. Okay, you want to stir it up and see what color it turns? Yes. What color did you make? Um, I made like a little blue green yeah it has a lot of blue in it so so let's put a little bit more yellow in and see if we can get a more green color yes okay you added lots of yellow now okay so stir it up and see if the, it will cancel out the blue and change it more into a green yes. oh that looks delicious <laughs> it looks delicious yeah it's like it changed it is it a darker green or a lighter green now a darker green is no is it dark like this color or did it go lighter on this side um a little bit light on this side. Yeah, because it's more yellow. Yes. If you added more blue, would it go darker or lighter? Um, I think uh, lighter. Blue would, but which is lighter? Is this lighter or is this darker? Um, uh, this is like the sun, so it would be the lead. It will be lighter? Okay, and if you put this one in, would it make it darker or lighter? Um, I think dark. It will, because it's very dark, right? Yes. So we're going to do a little bit of math now. So I'm going to roll the dice. Let's see. I got two. Now you roll this other dice here. Um, I lay it on four. Okay, put it down. Four? Four. So, how much is four and two together? Um, um, 14. <laughs> that would be a good answer, but you need to count. So, count the four out on the mat first. Okay. Put the four objects here. Any um, four things you want. One. Yep. Two. Yep. Um, three. Mm hmm And, and... Four. Okay, now add two more beside this little duck. Okay. Now how many do you have? Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so four plus two is? Six. Great. This time I have four little pots and I have this container with all little mini erasers that are for St. Patrick's Day. So I kind of showed the example. You can put rainbows in this one, pots of gold in this one, shamrocks in this one, and little hats in this one. So you can sort them out and at the end we're going to see which one has the most because you're going to count them. Okay? Okay. So you can start sorting them. Mm, I'm going to do with the rainbow. Okay. Okay. Sort them all out and then we'll see if they're the same amount or if there is more of one or less of one and we'll count them all up. Goat. Wow, they're really starting to fill up. I wonder which one's going to have the most. Yes. 
So by looking in them right now before counting them, which one looks like it has the most? Um, 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 let me count this one. Okay, you're going to count them first? Okay. Let's actually dump them all out and line them up and we'll count. Because we started with one of each one and then we put them in the container. So let's just see. Oh, you did some good sorting. So by just looking at them, which one looks like it has the most? This one. The, do you remember the name of those? Sham. Rock. Sham rocks. And which one has the least amount? Uh, the less. This one. What are those? Rainbows. Rainbows. So I did count the pots and they were 14 and the little hats were 12. And this was 8. Right? Less. So let's count this and see if it, the shamrocks are the winner. Ready? Less. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. Fourteen. Less. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. And? Eighteen. Eighteen. So who's the winner? Um, I think this one. Yes, because eighteen is larger than? Eight. Eight. That's great. High five. Great counting.